he's a bit of a confident playboy in so many ways, which is very unlike me, but I play these roles, I've, I've, I've kind of played them for, for Dolce & Gabbana and for, for the light blue ads for, for many years, so they were, the inspiration is really what I've played for before and, and so sort of try and have some fun with it. It's always going to be difficult to live up to a, to a James Bond-esque kind of persona. The, the, I mean, you know, one of my, my, my favourite, uh, which I think sums up Bond um, every time, is the first, you know, the first scene in the first Bond with Sean Connery. It turns around, you know, and he's, he's literally a cigarette outside the side of his mouth and he's playing poker and uh, almost sends shivers down your spine. So I think, I think that was like the first initial impact when you turn around. I mean, I, would, I, w I wouldn't even dream about comparing myself to Sean Connery and James Bond, but it had to be that sort of impact of seeing in the, in, in the mirror and then turning around and, and having that confidence that you're, that confidence that you're, you're you, you know, the, the lady that you want, you're going to get. Men don't have sort of that. So the shoes aren't that important to their outfit, but a woman can sort of make or break an outfit with their shoes. Um, it's why it's so important to them. It's why women are, are almost, you know, um, obsessed with shoes. It's like a hobby of buying shoes, and uh, I don't think men will ever, ever get get to that point because it's not as not as pivotal um, to their to their style. I'd love a girl in a heel and a stiletto, and you can't help, help notice that kind of thing. Women have that that choice of of, of how high a heel they can wear and a domineering factor and, uh, and with dominance come, comes, comes confidence um, and that's a wonderful thing for, for women to have. I don't think men realise how important actually a, a shoe is in, 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 in noticing a woman. That's probably the clever side of where women are a lot more cleverer than men when it comes to, it comes to styling. Um, it, it, it's, it's almost a, not a smoke screen but they can you know, you can cover so many things with a different shoe, and it says so much about, I think, that woman, from a flat during the day to you know, a stiletto to a, to a big hill in the evening kind of thing. And I don't think men really, really realise the importance of it. They can be almost like a piece of art on your feet. And, and women are very lucky to have that. Men, men, again, we don't have that privilege. We, we pretty much have a style of about four or five shoes, and that's about it. Britain is beginning to shout about now what we do best. And I think one of those is, fa is, is fashion and design. And Beyond a Castana is, is part of that. We have a huge, a huge amount of things to shout about in this country. Um, so I, I may have to go for anything um, young and inspiring, and the brand is that. It's all about really empowerment of women and the empowerment of shoes and how sort of that, that dominant factor uh, comes into women's shoes and, and not only how uh, women can be obsessed with it but I, but I think men can as well. It, it's, it's clever, it's different, it's unique, it, it's stylish, it's sexy and Beyond the Castana is innovative and I think this film is, I, I think it's, uh, I think people are going to like it.